Hi everyone, this is Saskia from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I'm here with Jack. Jack was here when he was much younger and he was adopted by Grace who is here today and um, I wanted to share a few things with you because gosh Grace, what's been going on with him? He had cysts, right? That he were had a, a cyst that was in the muscle, yeah. the same place. So they did the surgery and it went pretty deep. You know, the stitches and the whole bit. That was yeah. two years ago. Wow. And then around November, December, I started seeing under his fur this bump in the same place. So it started getting bigger and bigger. And then, um, and I probably should have been on top of it sooner, but I figured, oh, it's just, you know, no big deal. But then when I took him to Dr. Tamura, because Dr. Milburn wasn't seeing him anymore, um, she first she thought it was uh, a tumor she thought it was cancerous and then when she saw him the second time she said no it's just some kind of a it could have been like an irritation or a, like a hair or something like that so she was unclear about what it was okay but that he was too old to put him under i didn't want to take a chance how old is he now i'm guessing around nine i've had him for six years <gasps> when i got him from you your estimate ago? I just retired from school. I've been at that school seven yes. years, and I got him after one year. So that's yeah. how I know. And he was how old then? Your estimate was three. <gasps> Your estimate nine. was three, possibly nine. But he's and so Jack. anyway, she gave me tramadol twice a day just in case he's in pain. Yeah. Silver sulfur. Sulfidine, sulfidine, sulfidine. Twice yeah. And it still kind of hasn't helped, huh? So the top one was much bigger and bulbous. It was like a big, like a, like a, it looked like a tumor. Right. Let me and, see if we can see it But then she said it looked kind of necrotic light. and chunks of it would start to fall off. Yes. Little by little. So it's assist. looking much better. It was three to four times bigger. Then the bottom one started, the bottom one was nothing at first. You couldn't can even see, see the bottom one. Then the bottom one started getting bigger, but the bottom one he can so reach he and so scratches it. Oh, okay. All but right. But he still, he eats everything. So, she thinks it's just a recurring cyst? She almost. wouldn't, she didn't say. She was just, she, you know, she examined him twice now, um, just feeling it, you know, looking at his reaction. And well, so first of all, sure what it is, let really. me get him some CBD. Let me go grab it. Yep. Okay, I got it. CBD, which is amazing. This is the gel pen that we use, and it's just gonna make him a little more comfortable. It's gonna any pain he has. This is an amazing painkiller and anti-inflammatory as well. And he is on tramadol, but it's okay to use that on top of the painkiller. It's okay. Tramadol is a pretty heavy painkiller, by the way. I know. When she mentioned it, I thought, oh my goodness. So yeah. Switch to what? Switch. Medicam? Medicam? Is that Medicam? I don't. Uh, I'm not a fan of Medicam for the reason that I have never really seen it work very well on guinea pigs, mm. especially for arthritic guinea pigs. I, I, it doesn't seem to do anything. And the people that have used Medicam and switched over to the CBD, it's a day and night difference. Mm. You, yep, you see the eyes light up. They are just all of a sudden just alive, and they can walk around. It's like you, you the, took three years off them. Amazing. Should just put it topically to absorb. Yeah, you know, we'll see if it makes a difference in his behavior or not, and maybe it doesn't, maybe that. No, I wouldn't put it topically on the wound, though it has amazing anti-inflammatory properties. So you might, you know, if we shave the area, perhaps get a good close shave, then maybe you want to kind of edge. apply it around the edge. I think that might really help, to be honest. Okay. I really now do. Been, right now it's grown out. I've been trimming it just with scissors. Yeah. And it gets pretty close. Where you know, I can yeah. see the skin underneath. Yeah. I guess that would be good enough. Yeah, I think that might be good. I mean, we have a guinea pig right now that has a bumble foot that was just a horrible swollen paw. And we're soaking in, doing everything that we know, all the tricks in the book, and it wasn't really helping much. But then we started putting the CBD on it, and that paw just shrunk really? in That's the last amazing. four days. Wow. It's been, it's half the size now that it was. It's miracle stuff. It really is, you know? It's like there's no such thing as miracles. No, because it's all scientific, actually. It's not a miracle. <laughs> right. and it, but it works, you know? Right. It really works. So, Jackie, dude, we're just going to see if we can get you a little comfortable. And, you know, guys, he is under doctor's uh, supervision, so you know that he's not being... Uh, that Grace is being a good mommy, and she's taking him to the vet. Well, I w honestly, I wish I had taken old. him... I wish I had taken him sooner. 
Um, but, you know, swamped at work kind of a thing. Well, you know, this is also not a life-threatening situation, you know. This is, uh, it could be a little painful maybe or uncomfortable, but mm -hmm. these are not life-threatening. And it, what, what, what is odd though, when you have a cyst and you take it out, usually it's done. You're done with well, it. Well, that's the thing, the it was in the same place. Right? Yeah. Up and down. So that's really that odd. Like there that. might be a piece left in there or something. I mean, I'm not sure. But it does feel really odd, huh, Jackie? I'm, sorry, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just trying to feel around the edge a yeah, little bit to get a better like idea. But it does look like a massive... Um, cyst that's kind of burst you know and at his age they just maybe don't heal so good anymore um, and, he keeps and it, it, it looks pretty clean it doesn't look like it's infected though it's a little red around the edge but it'll, you know it'll start to heal up and then he'll scratch it and he'll scratch it again and yeah in the morning it's bloody again yeah so i clean around with a little hydrogen peroxide and water okay baby boy Okay, baby boy. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little weepy as well. Okay, so let's shave it and see if we can, and then give him his general health check because that's really what he came here for. <laughs> um, we'll give him his little health check and do his do his nails and stuff. Okay. And then let's shave it. So don't know if you want to see the I, check. I brought um, Gino. It was at Christmas. I think we went away for a few days. And I took him to the vet instead. I was afraid, you know, I didn't think he should be, but he should be at the vet just in case. All right, well, we'll take a pause right now. Excuse me. Uh, so, I shaved it. It's a little greasy, so this is the best I could do, really, in terms of getting it close, close shave. Um, I want to clean it up a little bit and disinfect it. Okay, baby boy. Now this one does not look so bad. This is not as weepy as this one is. I just The top one is much smaller now. So let's go clean this up. All get right. my stuff. Let's get that together. Okay, so little item. Just rinse it out. Okay, baby. Oh no, oops, I splattered some on my salt. So what are you doing right now? I'm just kind of cleaning it off, disinfecting it a little bit. This is not the best. I don't know why this is not sliding well, this particular syringe. That's so weird. Yeah, it's not doing a good job. No, well, let's see. Okay. Okay. And the top actually looks pretty good. It looks kind of close. I'm sorry, Jackie. My sorry little guy. What to get out? So what is a better time to do for them? I disinfect it. Come on, Jack. Good boy. I was afraid to go in it. The way you're going in it. Yeah. Well. This does not you definitely want to be well. careful, but you do want to, if there's any debris on here, yeah. you want to get that off. So okay. you're really making it a nice and clean surface. Thank you, Scotty. So I should use metadine um, instead of hydrogen peroxide? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would. And then get yeah. some of the gauze and just really, you can wipe it off a little bit. See okay. how much nicer it looks oh, yeah. now? Yeah. Whereas before difference. it was a little icky. Okay, I know, baby boy. Super no fun. And just keeping it clean like this mm -hmm. goes a long way, you know? So I thought I was letting it, like, get scabby. scabby yes, over. you do. But if it's kind of, if there's too much debris, it's it's not going to be able to heal. So you really kind of want to keep that surface all nice and clean, clean and debris-free. He's being a good boy. He's being a very good boy because this is not comfortable. It's not. He's got this little spot right here. He's got some like old bloods here stuck. It's nice to get off.
I know, Jackie, you are being such a good boy. Okay, now I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Going to tomorrow, Dr. Tomorrow, and she didn't eat anything that you're doing. Oh, really? Yeah, well, that doesn't make twice. any sense. You know, and you're spending a lot of money. And uh, how much did you spend so far? Well, on all the prescriptions each time I go has been 45 for both. And I've gone four times now, plus two times for two um, examinations. Those were, I think, for 75. Wow. And she didn't even clean it like this, so I'm done with her now. Oh, Scotty, i got to put you down. Yeah, that's disappointing. I'm yeah. sorry, Jackie. I want to see if, if I can get some of this off. It's going to heal better, kiddo. Okay, baby. So let's take a break right now while you continue to do that, and we'll be back before we check out with Jack. So, well, that's it. It looks clean. It looks all clean. See? So this is kind of what you want it to look like. Even if it's not going to heal and it's it's going to stay like that, mm -hmm. I think it's good to keep, keep it nice and clean like that. Um, so all you want to do is get some of the gauze, Get some betadine and just make sure that the betadine and the water is this color. Okay. That's the color you want, okay? Okay. Uh, and then it's all nicely disinfected. So let's put a little bit of the CBD on it around the edges and just see what happens. It's a very powerful anti-inflammatory. And how often should I apply it to his ears and around the wound? Uh, twice a day. Twice a day, okay. Yeah. Okay, I know you are so done with me. He's like, ugh, lady. I don't like you, and I don't blame you, Jackie. I don't blame you at all, buddy. I wouldn't like myself either. So really kind of try and work it in the edges, uh -huh. and we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay. I, I you know, it's, it's probably, we've never tried it for something like this, but well, seeing the results we're getting with, with this and, and uh, with, yeah. with other ailments with guinea pigs. doing much, though, <laughs> other than keeping it from being infected. Yeah. So there, you know, and they can't overdose on the stuff, so don't worry oh, about it. Okay. So um, they're not gonna overdose. So there, you okay. feel a little better. Yeah, oh, Jackie boy. Let me see your your. I actually haven't even seen how this what this looks like here. Oh, that feels okay. All right, so I'll, I'll clean that up. But you know, let's see. And and if it works, Grace, let me know. Yeah. And then let's do a let's do a follow up. Sure. Uh, but yeah, it looks much better now. And the vet didn't do any of this, right? She didn't even clean it. She it's felt sad. it. Uh, I couldn't tell that she cleaned it much. She took him to the back one time, brought him back. Um, but I'm, I've been trimming it and cleaning it. But mm. I didn't go in like you did because I thought it would be it would be making it worse. But apparently, yeah, you want to keep it nice and clean like All that. Right. Okay, well, let's hope hope that Thank it's you. gonna help. Thank you know, you. so and we'll we'll do a follow up. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Get better, Jack. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're such a good boy. Jackie, come here, Binky. Let me see your front teeth, please. Let me smell your mouth. Oh, this is the best. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad in the mouth. So if you really had a problem, then it would definitely be smelly. It'd be oh. stale. When you smell your guinea pig's, guinea pig's mouth, it shouldn't smell of anything. So when it starts to smell stale, you know there's a problem. A problem. Yeah. All right. No stale mouths. No steel mouth, so that's good. And he's eating good, so that's good as that's, well. That's been, for me, the, the, what makes the difference is that he's eating. So yeah, like exactly. Once we don't have that, you have nothing anymore. Yeah, you have nothing. Bye, Jackie. Bye, Jack. <laughs> Let's go back to your mama. Boy, he looks 